Hello and welcome to this week's devo final devotion taken from 1 John 4, verse 16 on this Friday, September 25th, 2020. This week we started looking at treasures old and treasures new, kind of an idea of, of one devotion a week focusing on a familiar portion of scripture that perhaps we know very well. And then the other devotion focusing on one perhaps we don't know so well. The idea is to to find all of these as treasures and, and to hopefully find something new um, that we didn't know before as we uh, dig into God's word, kind of almost like on a verse by verse basis. Um, it's my pleasure to be with you here today and, and to dig into this uh, wonderful section of scripture, this wonderful verse, um, which some of you may know and others uh, may not. So this might be a treasure new. First John 4 verse 16 says, we also have come to know and trust the love that God has for us. God is love. Whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. An interesting and comforting portion of scripture for us today as we focus on the idea that God is love. Everything that he does for you and me is out of love. And I think that's really what we need to focus on. Because when, when bad things happen in our life, when, when those terrible things happen, and, and we've had plenty this year to ponder on, haven't we, with the virus, with uh, social unrest in our country, with um, presidential politics and, and so on. We have a lot to ponder, a lot to perhaps um, think about, even in, in a way worry or be concerned about. But as we focus on all of that, look at this verse. God is love. How can that comfort you in a time period like this? When it seems like there's just snowball after snowball after snowball hitting you. And we're kind of looking all over for what's coming next. How could this possibly be a time where we can take this verse and find comfort? Well, think about it. God is love. He does everything for you. He has won your salvation. In fact, if you read a few verses later, 1 John 4, verse 19, it's that familiar passage that says, we love because he first loved us. How did he show that love for us? He showed us that love in what he did for us. God sending his son to this earth to live that perfect life that you and I couldn't live, to die that innocent death, to suffer the pangs of hell for us so that we wouldn't have to, and then to rise again, to give us this all free of charge. That is love. And everything that happens to you and me is done out of love. Now, some of those things that might happen might not be pleasant to go through. It can be a sickness. It can be an illness. Uh, it can be a concern over others. Some of that isn't pleasant. But it's all in an effort to draw us closer to him. God is love. And he displayed that love for us. And everything, everything that happens is for our good. The Romans passage, the familiar Romans passage says, God works out all things, not just 50%, not 25, not 85, all things for the good of those who love him. Sometimes we can't see the good in, in, in what's happening at that time. Often we can hindsight. Maybe we never do on this side of glory. 
but we have God's promise. He hasn't lied, and he's not going to start lying now, but he is love. And he displayed that love for us in Jesus Christ. And if we live in love, if we live in that Lord and Savior, we live in God, and God lives in us, because that's how it works. You're struggling. You're hurting. You're in pain. You're concerned. Look to your God. Look to what he has done for you. Focus on him. He is love. He gives you love. And he wants you to give that love to others. Let's join in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for showing us your love, your unconditional love that you gave to us. The fact that you lived and died and rose again uh, to save us from our sins, to give us that confident hope of heaven. We ask that uh, you continue to pour out your love on us and pour out your blessings on us. We ask that uh, you slow the spread of the virus as, as you see fit and according to your will. And we also ask that you continue to heal our country physically, emotionally, spiritually, um, and most importantly, spiritually. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotion. Uh, we'll be back next week with a couple more, with another old treasure and another new treasure. But until then, God be with you until we meet again. Bye-bye.